you. Let me try it again. I want to do this because I might have to do this. Try it. It's really easy. It is really easy. You just send them a text, have your Skype business set up, and then... There, now it's... Now, see, I've been trying for the last five minutes, but I gave up, and... Yeah, because... Yeah, because um, my thing wouldn't work. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I knew. I, I figured you'd get it fixed. Okay. Okay, now, we got everybody here now. Now, all y'all need to do is mute your... Uh, microphones for me and I appreciate that unless you got a question and we'll go ahead and get started first question I have today we'll go over a homework question and it's one of those questions that's got like 15 parts I will not put those on the test so y'all don't have to worry about that but it's a good question because it it's a data table it's a data table statistics and the first type of question you're going to get on your test is data-driven statistics, and that's this this right here: uh, mean, median, mode, range, mid-range, variance, standard deviation. So go ahead and write this one down, and I will put it on the Excel spreadsheet. And y'all can um, oh, I meant to ask you something. No, I can't do it on this screen. I can't freeze this screen. Okay, forget it. Uh, go ahead and start this question. Write down the two. I don't don't worry about these questions over here. Just go ahead and write down these, and go ahead and do your mean, median, mode, range, standard deviation, variance. Go ahead and do all of that, and then we'll answer the questions after we do all the math. That's why I tell students to do these problems anyway. Is it pixelating? So is it the mean just for the East Coast or the mean for both East Coast? Both of them. Go ahead and work on both of them. Is it pixelating it easily? Okay, there it goes. It looked like it was pixelating. I guess it's not. I'm just looking to see if the screen's working it easily. It is. It, it goes back and forth. Okay. Yeah, there's still a problem at Easley. That doesn't happen at at, Andrew, at Pendleton, does it, Hannah? Okay. I don't see. Pendleton doesn't have any problems except they can't open the freaking door on time. All right, I'm going to go ahead and copy these over to Excel. You'll be able to see them. That's what that little tab's for, if you didn't know. You hit that little tab right there. And it opens up in Excel, and you don't have to copy them down. And I'll make sure I make the uh, numbers bigger so you can see them. Make sure you put them in order as soon as it comes up. There we go. I'll keep them here together for y'all to see them, but I'm going to separate them as soon as we get started. Separate them how? There you go. Different problems. <clears throat> are they, but are we not doing the numbers together? No, because you're going you to got two there. separate problems here. Okay, okay, okay. Don't, Pay attention. Don't yell at me. Pay attention. I get tired of repeating myself. I can see that. I thought you were going to slap me. What is it? Slap what? The taste out of your mouth. That's right. There you go. Okay, well, that's actually a little easier. 104.5. The reason I want you to work on them is you should be able to get the all the stuff you need. You should be able to get it in a fair amount of time. Say, like... Five minutes, well, and you need to work on your speed because if you don't work on your speed, it ain't gonna help you on the test. Let's see. We need to sort these. The test is timed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because oh, it does take me forever. <clears throat> Oops. That's why I gotta separate them. It's gonna try to sort all of them. I'm gonna have to separate them. Sorry. Control X. 
control V. You said mean mode. Mean, median mode, range, mid range, variance, standard deviation. Pulling it out through decimal points, right? Yeah. Well, this is to one decimal place. So, yeah, you need to carry your calculations to do two decimal places because since these are to one decimal place, the answer will be to one decimal place. That's just a common rule of mathematics. Let's see. Mean, median, mode. Range, range, variance, <coughs> and standard deviation. Everybody's gotten the first one. I'm going to raise it up a little bit for you. There you go. already changed it good yay that's something good if I can find it has everybody got all the numbers written down distracting people. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, 
rain to one more time. Um, add the top and the bottom and divide by two. Add, add the minimum and the maximum and divide by two. Take the average of the minimum and maximum. Just the mint range? Mm-hmm. I should have told y'all that. Put that in your notes. I'm sorry. Shut up. I just can't. Shut up. I know all the other ones. I just couldn't remember what mid range was. Okay, the median is the middle number given. Mm, the no. mid range is the actual half point in the data set. That's good. You got that from 120. Good job. But you said the median. The yeah, median. she the she's the two, yeah. these two it would be. No well, right, she's not talking about. Five, yeah, right. she's not talking about the. She's not talking about the calculation. She's talking about what it actually is. Uh, Good yeah, job. Yeah. Understand. That means, I'm, that means I'm doing something right. You know, I haven't cried in this math yet, <laughs> and that is really an accomplishment. Well, that's good. Well, at least not over the math. <laughs> well, like I told you about the 102, it's not the material. That's giving you the problem. And like with this stuff, I understand the process. It just takes me a minute. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to show you a way to kind of speed that up. But you got to crawl before you can walk, and you can't crawl. You can't walk if you can't crawl. And That's why you need to know how to do this so I can show you the quick way to do it. Okay, the median, since there's two middle numbers, is the average of those two numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, no. Since there's six. Since there's six, six is an even, even amount. If it's an even amount, that's why you take the average. Yes. Two middle numbers. And five. And then equals this raised to the point five. I told you, I this by teaching. I like series. All right. Not what my variance is. Because you didn't divide by five, you I divided divide by, by six. Five, so I must well, I'll check it again. Let me check it. Probably me. I believe you. Divided by five. How do we get the variance? The variance is going to be oh. the. Well, I don't know what happened. That's not what I got either, though. Well, something something happened here. Hold on. The variance something. is adding all the square numbers divided by n minus one, right? Square what numbers are you squaring? Okay, when you do x minus x bar, yep. Okay, then you take and square all of those individual values, and then you add them all up to the bottom. Okay. Speak in human terms, okay. not in witchcraft. When you take your given number and subtract the mean. The mean. That's right. That's where I was going. X bar means mean, right? I know. Okay, so but when you get that number, you do it to the power of two. You square, square, and then you oh. add those up. I have and no that's idea what, what the hell I just did. N minus one, and that's how you that's how you divide by five and not six. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I did something with Gabriel. Cause I did something too. Two six. Your your number at the bottom, where they're all added up, is not right. Well, there's twenty four thousand. I got what you got. It's a variant. Hold on a minute. I'm trying to uncluster it's something. Me too. I did all my calculations match yours. what I did. I added that as a decimal. That's what I did wrong. Okay. 
You were right to begin with. I'm sorry. That's all right. I was trying to uncluster something. I messed up. All right. Here is your numbers for the first set. That me checking it with Excel's standard deviation checker. Okay. The reason I checked it, I've never checked it before. I checked it because we had people getting different numbers, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't cluster. When I was fixing all this up here, I want to make sure I didn't mess up something. Okay. Column D. Am I bringing that out three, four decimal places? I did four. You can do three. It doesn't matter. You can do two if you want to. Because this I'll is do all the, of them. That's fine. See what this is? That's to the first decimal place. So you need to carry all yours at least to the second. So you can round the final answer to the first. Right now, the standard deviation is 77.6. The mean is 157.9. This is this set right here. I'm going to do the second set in just a second. But I want you all to write all these down if you don't have them so you'll have it for your notes. And I'm going to look for something right quick so I don't have a cow. Wait a minute. I want to look for something because it's supposed to be on this computer and it's not. Nope, it's not. I'm going to the second number. Okay, so the variance. Where is column where you added a column or times two? Your so it's like a power number. So I just say the power out of each. Let me show you something. Yeah. You want to come over there? No, I'll bring it to you. Okay. I'm going to show you like <clears throat> your standard deviation. So this is what I had to do to remember. You need to know your mean. Median, mode, range, mid range. I don't know how to do the Excel business though. Variance, and it's, so your columns are going to be your N, which is numbers, right? Okay, y'all work on the second set. I've got somebody coming in to put something on my computer. So y'all work on the second set now. What were the last few numbers? Do you write all of them down? I did. So my handwriting is horrendous, oh, but whatever you, I have it. The U V W X Y Z. That's the second set. So there you go. I'm gonna put them on there now, but they won't that's stick. Fine. That's so fine. And could you like put it on your notes to put it on there? You know. So if you got your numbers here. Permanently. Yeah. Reckon what happened to them? He should have put them back. That's all. Thank you. Uh, he reinstalled or something. Uh, when he did Windows 10, uh -huh. he didn't install them back. That's all. This first first step that you need to. Okay, so then you take this number and subtract B. And you square the answer. Which one did you say you needed? 83 is good. You don't have to put 89. That's right. Yes. Yes, <sighs>
hopefully by the last day of class, Sandra will have all this fixed. I'm doubting it. Because <laughs> the system wasn't built to do this. I know. We're, do, we're making, we're putting a square peg in a round hole. <laughs> I think we're doing pretty good, though. I gotta say, as a paying student, I think this resource is ridiculously invaluable. I agree with you. It's amazing. But... <laughs> it can work better, but it can work. It'll work a whole lot better when we get an Epson. I mean, it will work. I think it'll work ten times better if the Epson don't co collide with the Polycom. That's what I'm afraid of. That's why I want to test out the screen with the poly without the Polycom. Because if it has a problem with Polycom, then so will the Epson. <coughs> See, I know the Epson works good with Skype because I do it in 102 or 202. So I know that that ain't a problem. Mm -hmm. But I'm scared. I wish there was a way we could connect the Polycom with 202 without having to move all this stuff. Yeah. Then I could then I could test it. Because if the Epson doesn't work with Polycom, then we have a problem. There it is. You can go ahead and pull it up. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. You do good work. I try. No matter what Michael says about you. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And pull your Excel spreadsheet back up. Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't know what I was talking about. Go back up real quick and let me look at your variance. Just make sure before I leave. Oh, I hadn't tried it yet. It should. Let me put let me see. Yeah, it works. Thank okay. you. In the standard deviation, you get by adding the 1.35. Hold on a second. Let me check a couple of things before I answer your question. Question. Tell me real quick, not in witchcraft, in real life terms, how you get the standard deviation. Which <laughs> set of <laughs> did you to get that 77, that's for instance? Here. I know how you get the variance. Yeah. That's the, the column D divided by five. What's the formula? So if you have I don't know. That's why you don't know how to do it. I do know how to do it. If you just tell me how to do it, I got the formula. I have. I, I wish y'all would do what I tell y'all to. But I don't want to know when that n plus one and all Wait, that that's what tells you how to do it. But if you just say it's the no. total amount of numbers minus Now, you one. know what you sound like now? You sound like them high school students. Just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you sound like. That's what I use. Right I here. Those for me. X minus X bar equals. X, the yeah. summation yeah. of X yeah. minus X bar yeah. over n minus one. Very, I'm sorry. No, I know what I know and how to get the standard the deviation yeah. is the what of the variance? It's the square root. Mm -hmm. 
So you got to get this. So well, I access. have that already. Okay. I have that. Okay, variance. where's the variance? So I'll have to take the square root of that. Just because I rounded up like this. And I will tell you a secret. I told y'all to write this in your notes. I do have it in my notes. Wait a minute. That, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't get it. So take the variance. Six the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. Seven, seven, six, two, six. I have one of these. Good job. Uh-oh, where's my picture? <clears throat> Lost them. There they are. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what happened to y'all. Everybody's still moving. Nobody's frozen, right? Okay. Nobody's we're frozen. pixely, but not frozen. Yeah, You're, we're not frozen yet. Oh, okay. Just a matter of time, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, what you might want to do is you might want to see what the normal distribution looks like doing the mean and the standard deviation. Because what you're going to be doing is comparing these two. Now, I would like to put one of these on the test, but just have y'all compare them. But I'm not going to put them on the test because there's too many, on the, on the homework, there's just too many questions. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. But what I'd like for you to do is, for this one, go out to the right. I can't do it here. But go out to the right of your numbers and do a normal distribution with the with this one and do a normal distribution with this one and see if you can tell anything. Now, some of you may be able to look at the mean, the median, the mid-range and be able to tell if there is, you know, I can tell you right now it's not good. The numbers are all over the place. That's why you got, that's why you got high standard deviations. But just go ahead and draw it out. Will you pull that down so I can see the other data? Thank you. Can somebody tell me which set of data is not spread out more? The first set. The second set, second standard deviation. The second set is not spread out. So the second set is a little bit tighter. The range on the second set, yeah. it says 141.4. Mid range is 157.8. 141.4, right? That's the range. Okay. And the variation? Variation is 3050.44. Is it 30, 50? 30, 50.44. And the standard deviation is 55.2 and change. That big old bottom number keeps jacking me up. I keep yep. thinking my comma is a period. Could just be because I'm a loser. Yep. It's very easy compared to the Z score thing, whatever. Mm -mm. How is the Z Actually, the Z score is supposed to be easier. That, what's the one that's the long, the long, long thing? The relevant business? This is too tedious. I'm going to move over here. And I'm going to take my handy dandy. It ain't going to work, but I'm going to try it. <clears throat>
Here's my mother's note card. I'll put it up there. You can have it if you want to. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I don't want it to say witchcraft. Okay, now for this particular, well, it ain't gonna matter if I'm gonna do this. First, I'm gonna move it, and it's not gonna let me move it because I've got all different kind of lines on here. And is, is it that going to be on the test or the line plot like, that was on the homework? Gonna be? This, you always responsible for the normal distribution. That's, that's going to be on there. And just so I'm correct, the normal distribution is the mean plus or minus the standard deviation, right? Yep. And it also could, leads into the empirical rule. Okay, there we go. That's going to be equal to this number. Equal to this number plus this number F4. Great. Now I have to fix that. And change all of these to there. I'm not going to be able to get it over there. Minus this F four mid range. I'll check my. Can you go back to your numbers whenever you can? Not yet. I'm doing this right now. I'll do it in just a second. I didn't get your number. Which one do you need to see? I want to know the variance and standard deviation for the second part. Okay. The, oh, I didn't write that part down, I guess. 036. For the standard deviation, I have 22.7685. Yes. I didn't get your numbers. Um, Which numbers? Um, the top one or the bottom. I got. Okay. Because 57.9. Plus 77.6. I don't think it's 20, 235. I got two. I got. Um, I don't know where you're at. Where are you talking about? Your, uh, your, um, distrib the normal distribution. Okay, well, I'll try it again. All right, the median. 57 I got Oh, I guess I did it wrong. Never mind. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. The top one, you're using the mid-range of the West Coast. Okay, I'm sorry. And, I'll fix it. And adding it with the East Coast. I thought I had the deviation. median. I'm sorry. Hold on. I meant the mean. Hold on. Let me. 
Huh? I'm trying. No, no, no you just rounded it up. That's all. Yeah, this is you rounded up. Because when we initially got for the mean 157.85, and you rounded it to 157.9. Yeah. And we're always Wait, gonna do that, do right? Do you use the mean or the mid range? The mean. The mean. The mean. You always. What's the two most important numbers? The mean. The mean and, and the standard deviation. deviation. Mm-hmm. So we. Uh, okay, I did that. You're thinking about the five number summary. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now if you look at the normal distributions, you'll see down here, the bottom one, that and the standard deviation is less. So between the two numbers, and I'm I'm just gonna get rid of this right now because I just did this for y'all, you know. Um I'm going to get rid of it because I need to show. You need to see these numbers again, Ms. Bradley. There they are. Oh, I do one just real quick just to make sure. But everybody look at the standard deviation for both. The standard deviation for the first one is 78. The standard deviation for the second one is 55. So therefore, the Midwest counties have a lower spread. In other words, the the numbers are tighter and you need to make a note of that because that's one of the things they're going to ask you and if the standard deviation is tighter that means the variation is going to be less than the top one and it is 3050 is less than 6025 so there's less variation in the Midwest counties so the Midwest counties are going to be more accurate than the East Coast counties and I don't know what that question I asked, but Miss um, Robinson, you sent that question. Um, what else does it ask besides that? Well, see, I got it printed. Yeah. Not the same number. A less uh, smaller variation equals more accuracy. Yeah. Yeah, they asked for all the stuff that we did. Okay, now we're going to do the quartiles. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. All right, so anybody got any more questions on this one? About this part? What would have been the answers in? Well, they asked for everything. They asked for the mean, for median, everything. mode, range, mid range. Yes. They asked for all of that. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to go out here and do the five number summary. Now I'm going to move over a little bit. I'm going to do the five number summary right here just to get it in for y'all. Let's see. First, uh, men. First quartile. Second quartile. Third quartile. And the max. Now, I like y'all, so I'm going to do the min, the second quartile, and the max for you. I'm going to do those for you. Mm -hmm. Aren't y'all pleased that I'm going to do that for you? I'm going to calculate those for you. Okay, now I'm going to put the median, a red dot, I'm going to locate the median with the, or the second quartile with a red dot. There's the median right there. It's in between those two numbers. Now how many numbers are above that red dot? Three. So you pick the middle. Since it's odd, you pick the middle. 123.3 and you take your handy dandy highlighter and you don't like that one and that's going to be it's right here and there's three above so you highlight that one And that's your five number summary. Okay, so if you got two, what you do is add them up like. If you got four above and four below, 
you find the mean of the two middle ones. You find the average of the two middle ones. Remember, you're finding the median of the median. So whenever the word median is in your vocabulary, you think, okay, if there's an odd number of items, you just find the middle. If there's an even number of items, you take the two middle and take the average. Same thing down below. Control C, set it at the median. And there's those numbers. Now I want you all to draw the five number summary for both of them. I meant the box plot. So the minimum is the smallest number. The yep. And you're going to have to use the mid-range. Mid-range is the middle of your... Divided by two. That's the middle of your number line. That's why I use the Excel spreadsheet. So I'm trying to get it all on one screen for y'all. After we class yesterday, I went home and thought about this and figured out how to answer the question in my head so that I understood it. Good. Okay. Got it. Did you do the... Um, I understood how to calculate it. It was a lie. That was a lie. Well, that's good. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do this. Well, that's going to work. you got to draw your number line first. And it's not working. Let me try this. There's the number line. And 105 goes here, or 104. You can put whatever you want to. It's not rocket science, so it's not like it's, you, can, you can put a whole number. It's okay. And 314 or 315 right here, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put 315 to make easier math. I'm trying to put 315. <laughs> 210 is in the middle, so we already got the mid range. The mid range is 210. numbers to make the graph look nice. Okay. So just to make sure the second quartile is the midpoint the mid range, not the median. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Definitely. And now you just take the median of I meant the mid range of the mid range. Right now we're not even doing the box plot. We're finding the graduations of your number line so you can plot the box plot. So one oh five to two ten basically is one oh five. Half of one hundred is what? 50, so this would be around 160 right here. And I'm trying to draw it. It's not letting me draw it. There. I forgot what I told y'all. What I say? Two. One sixty. One fifty is good enough. One sixty. <clears throat> and then add fifty here. Be two sixty. And then 
if you needed to, go halfway between those and do your graduations. And then 123 is going to be down here. 141 is going to be right in here. And 131 is going to be right in here. So you see your actual data. Well, it's not letting me draw it, but your actual data is like this. So that's skewed right. We're down here. Eighty seven. And then up here. is, I can't see it. It's 229. That's going to make for some real easy math. 229 is down here. Why is it so hard for this thing to work? It's kind of hard when you're doing this by yourself and you write emails and people are like, oh well, you'll figure it out. Two twenty nine, and then in the middle, the mid range is one fifty eight. Well, that's an eight. It's impossible to write with this thing. Eighty eight, or eighty, eighty eight, and one fifty eight. I have no idea what that is. Seventy. And half of 70 is 35, and 35 plus 88, I have no idea what that is. Somebody tell me what 80, huh? Is it 123? I'm going to take your word for it. Is that not right either? Hell, I can't even write. Sorry. I'm just going to give up on that. I'm tired of fooling with it. And I can't draw. <coughs> Let me try. What'd you say? One twenty-three. The eighty-eight plus one fifty-eight divided by two, right? Yeah. Yeah, one twenty-three. Okay, that's one twenty-three. And then one fifty-eight plus two twenty-nine divided by two. One ninety-three. 193, I hope y'all putting this in your notes because this looks terrible. All right, so 87 or 92 is going to be right in here. And 96, 97 is going to be even closer. And then 95 is right in the middle. So you see the box plot on the second one is what? Tighter. It's tighter. So all the indications are telling you that the second group is more valid than the first group. And that's what you should write down about this whole thing. That's what they want you to that's what they're wanting you to see. Okay? Question. Now, easily, that screen looks blue. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's, it's Did all I freeze up? Here? 
it keeps kind of going back. I mean, I can still, we can still hear you. But okay, we'll just. The screen is, is really, um, really messed up. Well, that screen looks blue, and I got on a blue shirt. So if I stand in front of that blue shirt, uh oh, there it went. Yeah, it's very. Like we can't see you from here. We have, I haven't, we haven't really been able to see you for a while. Yeah. Okay. But, but I mean, I All can right, see. Right you quick, doing on if you show. would, Zach, go over there into that door and see if don't yeah. don't get Jeff because he'll try to come in and fix it. I don't want him to fix it. I want you to ask for Brian Swords, the guy that came in a while ago. He's, he's, his office is just yeah. really close. If you would, I'll take a picture. come in. He needs to see this. I'll take a picture, too. Okay, thank you. I got it. Again, um, this... No, I mean, I don't mean this. This is not you. But with this on the board, it makes it difficult for us yeah, to see what you're doing. Way. Yeah. And then it'll on and off freeze. He's right here. Yeah, I okay, see that's it. what yeah. happens. Yeah, and they say they can hear me fine. Yeah, the audio is fine. It's just the screen's freezing up for some reason. And it's only happening at Easley. Yeah. Uh, I've got um, Michael's monitoring it right now. He's looking at the network traffic and the logs. So okay. Uh, they aired it down to some driver that's on the computer. So we'll Anna, see. do you see this? Do you see what's happening at Easley? And I, I feel oh, like she hasn't got her microphone on. Turn your microphone on. Okay. Does anything like that happen at Pendleton? No. Okay. Oh, I can, I can see her screen. Her screen is fine. Yeah. Okay. So Just wanted you to see it in case you needed to see what it was doing. Since they yeah. can hear me, I'm going to say let's go ahead and keep going. And who knows? It may unlock itself, you know, in a few minutes. I don't know. Just trying to open back up. Long I feel as you like can... this is worth mentioning while you're here. Okay. Just um, with this right here on this side of the board, uh -huh. um, it comes in like this not because he's has horrible handwriting. Well, maybe he does. I don't know. But uh, it it it, it makes it difficult for I'm just playing. It makes it difficult for us to see what he's actually doing. But it's only because what he's trying to, I guess, whatever he has on his side. It it when he tries to draw it it won't come up so i mean I yeah know that well that's happening it's crazy from a distance but that's happening so. here too that's because of the yeah. either the stylus or this touch screen i don't know it's it's very you know i can draw a line you can't see it but it doesn't come up real good i can't get i have to sit here and write the the one one uh 210 i have to write 210 like three or four times for it to come up 210 so it's not just the Easley campus that you're seeing that. Right, right. Uh, uh, Hannah's seeing it. So is Ashley down in Florida. When I write 210, I have to write 210 about three times for it to come up. And it's sometimes it still don't come up. Too. Okay. That's letting me know that it's um, we've got an issue with the with the pixelation of the video. I guarantee it's a video driver. So that's what we're going right. to do this afternoon is they're going to upload a new video driver and we'll see if that uh, does something to it here but as far as y'all cut and see that's what's so interesting brian y'all are not pixelated mm -mm. y'all are y'all y'all do not lock up y'all uh it, like it doesn't pendleton happen right now yeah pendleton right now is going away and then she'll come back in a minute <laughs> Do y'all pay y'all's power bill up there, Brian? I'm I wonder if we didn't pay the phone bill or the power bill one. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it, the curse, curse lady just may have us like a phone cord ran from Pendleton. It's just, I, just yeah, around, I so think yeah. now we can take a, a piece of rope and a couple of tin cans yeah. and run it down I-85 a little bit. Maybe we could maybe we could use that. That might work. But anyway, we're, we're making it through it. If we could get that gremlin out of easily campus i believe this would work better so jeff just told me that we're going to install the video driver as soon as we get through so today so uh, we'll try to paint through it today and install those new video drivers and see if that is, that's the problem okay. i think the issue we converted to windows 10 on these computers right before the um class started 
And so that is one of the issues I think we've got is uh, Windows 10 is a lot different than Windows 7 as far as uh, the communication drivers and things like that that's inside there. So, and Well, it's, uh, I believe it's improved. It's improved yeah. since that first couple of days when it was really messing up. Yeah. It's improved. Yeah. It's just we'll there's try something. We'll the drivers today and see if that works. Okay. Thank we'll you, Brian. All right. Sorry y'all having problems. Thank you, guys. We'll, we'll That's it. all right. Listen, we will pull up. For those that are, I'm, I don't know what time it is. Is it time? No, we still got to All Thank right. You. I want y'all to look up, your, get your calculators out. For those that have calculators. And I'm going to erase this. And I don't know if you can see the calculator. It looks like y'all can see the calculator okay. Yeah, we can see it. Okay. Um, turn on your calculators and go to Stat, Edit. And I want somebody to give me those numbers from the East Coast in order, please. All right, 104. 104.5. 141.5 and 314.2 314.2 and I think I can do the other one also in the second one give me the other ones in order okay 87.1 87.1 92.7 92.7 93.7 94.9 Okay. Now, if you notice, this is like a spreadsheet. This is your A column. This is your B column. All right. Now, if everybody will look above the number one and number two and number three and number four, and number five, and number six, you see L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, and L6. That's the shift. And above the four and above the five, above those numbers, you have L1, L2, L3. So whenever you want to designate the column, you hit shift and then whatever column you want it to read. So go to... I think it's stat, calculate, first variable statistic, and then type in second, L1, and enter. Mm. Look at there. Easy. X bar, 157.9. Okay, remember sex. SX. SX is your standard deviation. 77.2. 77.62. I'm sorry. 77. <laughs> y'all think y'all cute, don't you? 77.62. And then look, go down. Look up there. Five number summary. Wow. That ain't all. Now you can go and go to second y equals go to stat plot click on own scroll over to the box plot which is right there, and graph. Now it's not going to, you're not going to see it right off, so you're going to have to do, I think it's zoom 
and I think it's zoom fit. I think it's down here. Zoom fit. There it is. Zero. Okay, it didn't put it, so let's do zoom six. What numbers are we talking about? A hundred. So I'm going to zoom out until I can find it. I thought it was going to zoom out. Zoom out. There it is. So what you need to do is go to Zoom box and go over and put a box around that. There's a way you can do it. Uh, you have to read your manual a little bit, but I think you can go and pull this up. Zoom, one of the zooms, yes. You can actually hit it and it'll bring it up. There's your box plot, but you can't tell it. There's a zoom feature. I don't know which one it is. I tried zoom six. Let me see if I can remember. Zoom staff nine. There it is. There she is. And look at it compared to what we did. Does that look like ours? Yep. It's on the left side. It's skewed right. Okay, now those of you that have a calculator, do the second one. Do the L2 can you, now. Can you please give the directions for how to get to the graph from the beginning? I've got the first part. The, okay, the, uh, the I, okay. Go to second y equals and just click on the first one. Now you can go to the second one now and hit enter and turn it on and move over down down I'm sorry down one time and move over to you get to the box plot right there see which one I'm on hit enter and change the second one to L2 and hit graph look at there I have, I have one Look at the two look at the two Aww. box plots that I have on the screen. Now which one's tighter? The second one. And say so that's how you can tell which one's tighter by looking at the box plot there. Hey Hubert? Yes. I gotta head out. Okay. I got you down for today. Did you get me yesterday? Yeah. Okay, I FaceTimed for a minute. Yeah, I know. So you're you're good for this week, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. You won't right. get no I'll stupid see. attendance email. Have a good time. Don't forget the All test right, on I'll Sunday. See. There's a test on Sunday? <laughs> no, that's a joke in 120 <laughs> class. Wait, you know, I'm that time I used the example of Sunday, January 31st, for a test. Oh. And yeah. I used January 31st, so nobody would say, we got a test this week? So that's why I used January. Anyway, it's a long sorry, story. Sorry. Um, no, I, I know it. You remember? Okay, okay. no, there's no test, test. but okay. chances are, what's today? Uh, chances are, seven. Monday next week, we're probably going to set up the test. All right, that's fine. Okay. Well, you mean Tuesday? 103 meets on Monday. I thought you meant for 120. No, tomorrow we'll probably get close to the test in 120. Okay. And I'm not missing anything, right? No, we're you're just good. doing what we're doing here. Yeah. Right? They're nothing different. Okay. All right. All right. I was just making sure. Yep. See All you. Right, Have a you. good time. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. Now, if you want to go back and do the statistics for the second one, go to Stat, Calculate, First variable statistic, and instead of L1, why did it? Oh, there you go. Hit second function, two. And now you got those numbers. Check it with our spreadsheet numbers, see if everything's correct. 
X bar and SX. Go to stat and edit. And you can type them in there. Just downloaded the thing. And there's the five number summaries. Check those numbers. How they look? The same. Good. So now you got three ways to do it. You can do it by hand, you can do it by Excel spreadsheet, or you can do it by your calculator. I take the calculator. That's what most people do. But the only reason is they don't like typing in the answers. I mean, they don't like typing in the numbers. See, when you do the test, you can click on that little tab. It'll take you to Excel, and you can actually do it on Excel and not have to type in the numbers. That's why people like Excel. Gotcha. Okay, who's got a question on that? Now, we have just covered two out of the four parts for the 80%. We've covered the five-number summary and box plot, and we covered the data table uh, statistics. So that's two out of the four. So I'm going to go over the, that's the only question I got on uh, homework because evidently I teach y'all very well and y'all are very smart. Y'all don't send me any questions, so I guess that's why. Or you haven't done the homework yet, one of the two. But let's move over to another question. Let me go over to the homework and see if I can find the question that I'll probably put on the test. Are you not going to go over the test in class with us? Yeah, but we that'll probably that be good? Monday. If that's okay with you. Well, I, no, I will. I don't know. I mean, can I be in charge for a while? And I go back and then I watch his YouTube videos. My Labs Plus. <laughs> can I be in charge for a while? I guess. I mean, if you want to. I appreciate it. Let's see. I say that in all my classes. I'm not just picking on you. Uh, can I be the man today? Oh, he says that. <laughs> I'll see. I don't know about that, but I guess we'll give it a shot. Well, you know how women do. They make the man feel like they're in charge. Uh -huh. But they really aren't. I will be in the kitchen telling my children. Why does he get mad? Honey, I don't know. I could ask myself all day long why your daddy gets mad about shit that I don't understand. Men have, and men have stand their... right there, and I'll be like... <laughs> men have their... <laughs> don't know. Y'all not going to let me talk, are you? Uh, <laughs> men have their time of the month, too. Oh, we know. We know. Big, big facts. <laughs> yeah, I do. It is worth, I think. It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. I know my dad... Oh, with you. But see, that. most men won't even won't admit that, though. Most men won't admit that. All right. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Okay. My daddy used to ask me when I used to cook for him every Sunday, why do you ask me what I want to eat? Why don't you just cook what you want to eat? I said, because that's the one time I'm willing to pretend what you think. Uh, exactly. Like, there you go. Hear what you think. All right. Where is the uh, where is the empirical rule questions? Does anybody know? Is that in 6B or 6C? Huh? It's not in 6A because I'm in 6A right now. Okay, 6C. I got those printed out of the museum. That's all right. I'm going to pull it up on the... I think he probably knows. I want to make sure everybody understands how to do one. Can we do question six? Because that's what I was... Okay, we'll do it in just a second. All right, here it is. Here's the question that you might see on the test. Make sure you write it down. And this is the empirical rule. Oh, that's an easy one. Yeah. We did that all month. I know, but I want to make sure I cover all of them. Make sure. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do questions. Assume that a set of test scores is normally distributed with a mean of 80 and 20. Use the empirical rule to find the following quantities. <coughs> I 
that's why I said something when he was in here, because I figured if it would, came from us, it would give you some more credibility. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, his hands are tied. It's all up to the IT department. Uh, and since I'm the only guy on campus that does anything like this, I'm in the minority. They don't listen. <laughs> and they don't listen. If there was about 10 teachers doing this same thing and they were complaining about something, yeah, it would get fixed. Yeah. Now it's... See, there's, there's moments it works fine, yeah. and then there's moments yeah. it won't even work at all. <laughs> I don't understand it. Especially when I write numbers. When I write numbers, yeah. it can't handle it. Okay, it only takes about, what, 45 seconds to write 80. <laughs> and that's 100. And 120. And 60. And 40. And how many are less than 80? 50%. 50%. Now, if you didn't know, well, my my second do finger thing up fell off. That's what she said. Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> these 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 styluses aren't gonna last at all. I've, how many times have I? This is the last one for this stylus. Maybe I'm. I'm not going to say that either because I know Miss Bradley, Miss Bradley will say something, so I'm not going to say what I was going to say. <clears throat> That's he don't know. Maybe I'm just uh, I need to do a lighter touch. I'll say it like that. It's no need for Christian. Because <laughs> if I say the other thing, she's going to say something. Okay, there. Now, you can either look at that and say, okay, well, that's halfway because we said that the gas tank is half full right here. So that's 50%. Or you can add up 34, 13.5, and what? 2.5. Or the 2.35 and the 0.05. And those are 50%. Okay, the percentage of scores greater than 100. So you take your red pen. Greater than 100 would be... Okay, lines don't give it a problem. But zeros... Oh, <laughs> Did y'all see how perfect that wrote? That was yeah. perfect. <laughs> Bless him. 26. This is going to make you seem crazy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Okay, right here, so it'd be 13.5. And 2.5. So that would be 16%. And then blue, the percentage of scores between 40 and 100. Well, 34 here, 34 here, 34 here, 34 here, and 13.5 here would be what? 68 plus 13.5, 81.5, that would be that. 
So make sure you know how to do the empirical rule. And she said number six online. So I'll. So the 68% is the normal. No. No. 34 here. I'm trying to write it. Okay, now it won't write. Let me hit it again. Gentle, gentle. See, the empirical rule says that this is 2.5, 13.5, 34, 34, 35, 13.5, and 2.5. You put your mean and standard deviation down here, and this one says between 40 and 100. So you start at 40 and go to 100, and then you add up what? 34, 34, and 13.5. You're thinking of the you're thinking of the 95% which falls between 40 and 120. That's normal. But they're not asking you that. They might ask you that, but not in this question. They didn't ask you. So what do you have to do on the, on the, the empirical rule? You have to draw a picture. You have to put in the mean and the standard deviation. And then you have to look and see what it's asking for and fill in and add the percentages up. And it's always 2.5, 13.5, 34, 34, 13.5, and 2.5. And whatever they ask you, you add up those percentages. Okay? And I'm going to go over number six. Is that what it looks like? Meredith? Something like that? Uh, yes. Okay. I just forgot how to, I just forgot how to get started on that. Okay. Now, first of all, what does it give you? The mean. Mean and the what? So and that means you got to draw a picture. And I'm going to let y'all draw a picture while I try to get this mouse to work. There we go. All right, so I'm, I have no idea what it's asking, but I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture because it's giving me a mean and a standard deviation. Mean is 60. Standard deviation is 68, so that would be 68 and 76. The bigger I write, the better it does. 60 minus 8 is 52. And 52 minus 8 is 44. 44? I'll take your word, no. Is it? Yeah. Okay, now. That takes care of this right here. Now it says convert 60 to a z-score. So they want to know this z-score. Well, what is 60 in the middle? What is that z-score? Zero, right? But they want you to calculate it. So we're going to calculate it. So x z-score is equal to x minus x bar over the what? Standard deviation, Hubert. That's right, class. So x is 60. What's the mean? 60. Minus 60 over the standard what? Deviation. Which is? 8. And 0 over 8 is? Zero. And 0 is your answer. Oh, I feel like it's so much easier than what I made it out to be. Yeah, it is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> they yeah. just look at it. But, ah. You're going to fail. Yeah. Zero is the answer. 
Yeah, once you break it down, it's nothing. Yep. All Thank right. <clears throat> that pretty much covers what's going to be on the test, but we're going to go over the test Monday. You can. Okay. All right. So the thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shut this recorder off. And I'm going to see if there's any questions for y'all right now. Y'all should be, y'all should take this weekend to finish your homework and to send in questions for Monday. If I don't see any questions, I'm going to go into the test and assign the test. If I have questions, I'll go over any questions you want me to go over, send them in, ask my instructor, and I will do them all Monday. And then if we have time to go over the test Monday, we'll go over the test Monday. If we don't have time, we'll go over it Wednesday and I'll assign it Wednesday. I go on what the class tells me. If the class tells me they don't, under, they don't understand, then that means I'll get a lot of homework questions and we'll delay it to Wednesday. If I don't get any homework questions, then that means the test will be uploaded on Monday. We'll go over it Monday and we'll sign it Monday and go into new material on Wednesday. So it's up to y'all. If I get a bunch of homework questions, then we'll go over those first. Y'all understand? Yes. All right, y'all get out of here. Have a good weekend and get that homework finished. See y'all. Bye. And Hannah, keep me up to date on the door, okay? Monday and Wednesday of next week. And just stand out there with a with a little cup or a bowl. Thank you. And hopefully somebody <laughs> will give you some money while you're waiting on the door to be unlocked. Sing a okay. song or something like they do in New Orleans. <laughs> there was actually a guy in Charleston doing that. I went to visit my daughter when she was in when she was getting in moving in and stuff. And there was a guy in Charleston playing a trumpet. Oh yeah. And I'm like, This is Charleston. What the hell is he doing? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he gets quite a bit of money, my friend. I know, but it's still stupid. You only do that in New Orleans and people do it. Oh, they well, Greenville, it, Greenville, they probably pay somebody in Greenville to do that because they want to be a big city for that. I know. It's so pathetic. I know. Oh, my God. That is true. Cause I was a dude, he just at like, he was like, oh, I'm not from around here. He was just talking and talking. I was like, so where are you from? And he said Greenville. I was like, I'm like what do you mean you're not from around here? Oh, okay. Podunk Greenville is just as bad as Podunk Anderson. <laughs> They think they are metropolitan. Let me tell you. They really do. I guarantee you they pay somebody to stand out there and, and, and play a trumpet. I guarantee you they do. Oh. Um, only reason I do go to Pendleton campus is because I got another class after this. But is that why you have to pay Pendleton campus? Yeah, anytime you can't do it. You come in here anytime. It ends in four weeks, so after that four weeks, I'm definitely In fact, you need to put that in your evaluation of this course mm -hmm. because this this evaluation of this course is going to be... Let's take that up with Brian. We need to do a separate evaluation for this course. You're still calling. No, I'm not. I thought I hit stop.